are in the Boero showroom. And there's Dave. Actually, interestingly enough, whether Dave remembers or not, Dave sold me my first real pontoon boat. Yes, I did. Yes, Rob, you did. How are you today? Good. How are you doing, Dave? Good. What, what have you got for me here today? Well, Rob, this is a Glastron GTX 160. It's a special package built by Glastron for the Back Lake Boater. Nice, small, easy access boat uh, with lots of good features in it. You know, what I like about this boat, Dave, and I did have a chance to look at it previously um, with some of the other guys here, is I, I like the fact that although it's small, it's big. If you know what I mean, it's, Absolutely. you know. Yeah. This boat has a 75 inch beam. Uh, there's room for four adults across the back seat here. Very wide cockpit. And that's because of the straight hull sides here. Oh yeah. You know, the graphics are, are nice. And, and I mean, every boat nowadays looks nice. And especially when they're brand in the showroom. but. What I liked about this is, I mean, it's a Glastron. And to those that aren't familiar with it, which isn't very many, Glastron's been in business forever. Yeah, they're actually, I believe, the 58th year. This boat was actually redesigned with the 70s models in mind because everybody uh -huh. knew the Glastron makes from the James Bond movies. Uh, features like a Roadster windshield. Oh, uh, yeah. You'll notice the gauges look like muscle car gauges oh, from yeah. the 60s. That's right, I did notice that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Actually, look at that. I sorry, folks. I'm just gonna wander over here. I gotta show you this. That looks awesome. I mean, that's just classy, you know. And uh, even the how long is this boat? Uh, this boat is actually it's called a 160, but it's 16 feet six inches. And again, with the 75 inch beam, this boat feels and handles more like an 18 foot boat. Yeah, I noticed it's got a little swim platform off the back there. I'll wander around. And, yeah, uh, fantastic swim pods on the back, Rob. Um, swim pods, that's the term I'm looking pods, for. Swim uh, pods, important. Outboard boats get accused of not having enough swim room for kids, but if, if you like to swim or fish, you can stand out on these rear pods. You've got a beautiful ski bar here. A lot of people say, hey, I don't need a ski bar. Guess what? When you're coming in and out of the boat in the swim pods, you use that in a, as an assist handle. Of course. The elderly folks love that feature. Yeah, well, that makes sense. And I see it's got a collapsible stainless ladder on the back on one side, which is nice. Yep, folds right up on top and gets right out of the way. And, you know, a 75 E-Tech, I'll bet you that makes this ski daddle pretty good. Yeah, that that is an inline triple motor. It is a good application for this boat because it's very light horse, light for 75 horsepower. Um, good torque. Uh, it doesn't weigh the back of the boat down. So Makes this sense. is a, one of the better applications for a smaller boat like this. Very fuel efficient. I've heard that the E-Tech is good on fuel and that they're lighter. Yes, they you can. Know? Yeah, they are lighter. That's they are correct. Lighter. Yeah. This is great. Well, I'm just going to do a little exterior guy. looks like it's got chrome wheels on it with, uh, with those bearing, bearing, uh, what do they call the bearings on those? They're like oh, yeah, oil they're bath? Bearing buddies. Yeah, they're greasable bearings. Uh, one thing that uh, Glastron and Four Winds has always done is created a, a they pioneered the uh, factory trailer uh, included oh. in the package. So this is a custom fit trailer. It's not adjusted to fit this boat. It's virtually impossible to load this boat incorrectly because the trailer will not allow you to do that. Right. And uh, you've probably noticed the folding tongue there. Shortens oh, yeah. the storage length of the boat. Nice, nice. So, so this trailer, unlike, I mean, I mean, we don't want to knock any competition by any means, but there is certainly an advantage here that unlike some brands that just buy trailers in bulk and kind of throw them together to make them fit their boat, this is custom fit to this boat. Custom fit to the boat, welded to fit this boat. This wow. trailer will not fit any other boat. <laughs> That's awesome. I had heard something about that, but I didn't know it was that specific. Yeah. So they own their own trailer company. It's it's within two kilometers of the main factory, and they do build them specifically for this brand. Yes. Isn't that great? And it's got steps on the fenders. Um, yeah, these are fenders that you can, as you're unloading and loading the boat, you can get in and out. You can jump up and down on those. We like to show people that at the boat shows and, and be careful of the competitor's trailer because the fender might snap off. <laughs> yeah, that's nice to do on a launch and so you can swear at everybody. Absolutely. And then uh, LED lights, of course, is pretty much standard, but yep. this is nice. Even got a little pinstriping on the side of the trailer. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah just, just nice to see that attention to detail. Well, what I'm going to do is, uh, is maybe get you showing the inside. All right. Yeah. Well, we got Dave inside the boat now, and I'll just kind of film from here because I don't want to step on your toes. Well, one thing I want to show you about this boat is it's got a beautiful walk through, lots of room. Now, people say, hey, how come this isn't cut out like a traditional bow rider? Well, the reason I want to show you this is the importance of this is it's now a one-level cushion. Two, three kids can sit up here. Uh, yeah. There's no small cutout leaving these small triangle cushions. When you lift this up, it wow. is all one clean storage. The most important part of this is, this is a structured bulkhead. 
A lot uh, of boats are weak in here. If you actually get into some other brands this size, the windshield moves, it buckles here. What this does is create a cross frame. Again, giving this boat more of a feel of an 18 foot boat. <laughs> that makes total sense. Absolutely. And look at this, even hinged with stainless hinges, so it doesn't just lay in there. Yep. Isn't that beautiful? And two yep. cup holders up there, pretty cool. Well, in a Rob, I'm six foot two, lots of ostrich leg on me, and as you can see, <laughs> I'm fitting. Yeah, you're fitting. We have room for more. Nice. Uh, this company also uh, uses full fiberglass floor. There's no structural wood below the water line in any of these boats. It's virtually a two-piece boat. You can appreciate this beautiful ski locker, all composite lid. Wow. And they finish the inside of these boats, even in the storage compartments, as nice as the outside of the boat. Yeah, it's not all rough and ragged in there. It's, uh, it's that fit and finish that Glastron's known for. We got beautiful snapping carpet in this boat. It even goes all the way up in the front like that. Yes. Isn't that cool? It's even got a split in it to, for just you, that, that little bit there. It just yep. shows me that they didn't just slap it in and look for a wrinkle. They no, made it is it custom fit. Just right. Just right. Uh, looking at, again at the helm, being a tall guy, you can see... There's lots of room for me in this boat. The seats do move forward and back, nice. and they do swivel 180. Nice. And, I mean, the steering wheel's nice. It's got a nice classic look to it. Um, One it of the looks... other things I love is that Roadster windshield. More of a wind diversion, but a boat like this without side wings allows you to rest your arm in comfort and reach out to the dock when you need to very right and the other part of it it's just like driving a convertible on the lake Absolutely. <laughs> it's got a convertible feel to it doesn't it, it? Does. that's great well i'll come around the other side and you show me the back we talked right. about the width of this rear seat what i love to show people in this boat is the attention to detail and finish all the storage compartments are as nicely finished as the outside of the boat you could wax these if you want you've got portable cup holders you've got assist grab handles in exactly the right locations where you need them for your passengers I love the two portable gas tanks. That's great. You're running at the cottage, one tank's getting low, someone's going in town, someone's going to buy cheap gas at the gas station, they pull that out. You're running on this tank, you just switch it over. It allows you to move back and forth. <laughs> Battery storage in this side. This seat again, sitting on the, um, the things I forgot what the names are of. That's okay. And, uh, Beautiful ski bar. This actually pushes through and locks into the hull with a pin, giving you a higher pull point over the motor. This boat uh, will run between 39 and 41 miles an hour. Uh, it pops up on plane with five adults on it in it effortlessly. It is a great light duty ski and tow boat for sure. That's great. Well, thanks, Dave. And you've got quite a few of these here. I know that you're the, the world's largest Glastron dealer as well as low and four winds yes absolutely yeah so i mean you don't just have a handful of these you got lots to choose from yep. um come by and and i know that you got the best price in town i mean absolutely. it's just the way it yep. is so we we do our best looks like a lock and glove box even yes that's just well thought out and with two cup holders in it lock and glove box and finished in there yep. it's just yeah I, i'm a big fan of glass drawn i really am and i'm even more a fan now well thanks rob well thanks dave i appreciate the tour much Cheers. appreciated